what's up guys winter kills welcome back to dark souls 2 and uh so basically in the last episode we killed mirror knight and we were just about to start the shrine of amana and i went to majula and then i remembered we forgot a little place called belfry soul uh so before going any further um gonna go ahead and get through this area as fast as possible might cut through some things maybe not and then uh we'll get right back to the shrine so didn't want to forget this area though because there are some cool things here um so yeah i'm gonna talk to this fool with a weird hat he's gonna ask if we want to join his covenant i'm not joining i'm gonna stay a son bro and then he's just gonna talk shit about us so we'll leave him there because fuck him and there's loads of phantoms here phantom type enemies is this an npc summon drifter swordsman adel I don't think we'll need that NPC summon. This ballista is new. Oh god, we gotta we gotta try it. We gotta hit him with it. If it even will. We got him with it. We got him in the back of the head with a ballista. God, I hate those guys so much. Feels good to kind of see him get a fucking in the ass. You need to stop with that shit. Nobody uses that shit. Put that shit away. You look pretty uh, low frame rate from far away there, bud. So some of the enemies are in this game, like, if you look at them from really far away, they have, like, really low frame rate for no reason, but then when they're really up close to you, they, uh, they look normal. For certain enemies, though, generally smaller enemies. This guy means business, because he thinks he's badass because he's got a great sword. Well, we got a meat cleaver, which is better than a great sword. He just doesn't realize it. Oh, we got him with a chop. We got him with that ghetto chop. That's awesome. I, I, oh, we got Bellkeeper bow. Nice. It's not a bad bow, actually. Uh, as far as bows go, um, that one's not bad. I'd give it an okay rating if I had to rate it. So, we're going to ring this bell tower now. This usually keys a invasion of a Bellkeeper. Not an actual person, just... One of those little dudes with the axes, but he's red. Because he has a malicious intent on killing us for ringing their bell. Oh, and also, uh, I did uh, level up my stats. 31 vigor, 31 endurance, 50 strength, finally, and then 16 dex. And we leveled up our butcher knife to plus 4. And I put the bracing knuckle ring on because it does lose durability fast. And I wanted to death stonic. Death? Deaths? Yeah, I, I believe that's how you say that. So we're getting invaded by every fucking thing here. This guy's gonna come out of nowhere and just f fucking wreck me. That's not what I want. I wanted to go through here quick. Oh my god. Where is he? Oh shit. This guy's mighty speedy. Come on, you want to get hit with this shit? Ooh! That does a lot of damage to you. Oh, I wanted to get him with a chop. How is that hitting me? Holy lag. Please, sir. GG. Alright, well, I'm gonna heal up real quick. Hopefully this guy will be cool about it. Thank you for waiting. Um, let me just pop another one of these. Do a quick bow, and we'll get right into it. Oh shit, that hurts a little more. But we still hit like a fucking truck with this thing, damn. Oh, we almost got him with the chop. And the jumping attack as well. Oh shit. And that'll be enough to put us through. Not bad. 
Not bad. Didn't expect to get reposted like that. It's whatever, though. Only if we had a little more stamina. We would have been able to wreck them. Because that thing does a lot of damage and it swings really, really fast. That's what I like about it. Give me a weapon that can do that. And, uh, I'll use it. <laughs> I like big heavy hitter weapons. Either that or I'm on the opposite end of the spectrum with something really small and fast. You know, like, uh, rapiers. I like using rapiers. They're fun. They're different. Alright, we'll get back to where we are in a second. So, I'll see you then. Alright, now we're gonna go ahead and grab this item. Some simpleton spice. Hopefully we don't get invaded by 4,000 people again. While we try to continue on our epic quest. Yeah, I got a bow and arrow too. They hurt though. They hurt a lot. And I don't know why I'm letting myself get hit. Over and over again. Take care of big greatsword dude real quick. Ow! Jesus, Jesus, man. Careful with that sword. You're gonna hurt someone. Wrecked. Butcher's knife, MVP. Where did the other guy go? Okay, there you are. Nice. More simple than spice, not bad. Always want to double check just in case, you never know. Uh, immolation. Nice. I'm gonna have to eat some triclops snake trotches. People trolling with the illusory wall there. There is one, however, down here. I believe it's got the Black Knight Greatsword in it. Black Knight some some type of sword. I don't know if it's the Greatsword. Oh, okay, it is the Greatsword. I really... Oh, yeah. Wait a minute. Yeah, it's the Black Knight Ultra Greatsword. Um, the really huge one that was in Dark Souls 1. It's probably one of my favorite swords to use. Alright, so we finished up that place, now we're gonna head into Shrine of Mana, so I'll see you guys there. Alright guys, so here we are at the Shrine, we're gonna go ahead and get through as much as we possibly can. The time we have. Take our first left here and see what we got. First off, I can see that there's an Arcturic Soldier standing right there. God damn it. It's not what I wanted to do. Let's see what they got. Okay, I see. See this fucker. Come here, you big eyed asshole. Gimme the loot. Nice. More spice and some more herbs. Not bad at all. Now we can actually make our way to the shrine. Make sure I'm not missing any small items. All right, we're good, we're good. Probably, uh, like I said in the last episode, one of my most hated areas, uh, just based on sheer difficulty and annoyances. Um, so I'm hoping there's some sort of mechanics they added to this area to make it a little more forgiving. Um, but obviously this is a harder version of the game, at least I think. Um, like, some things they made definitely a lot harder. Uh, God, I wasn't sure if he was going to attack me or not. Some things they definitely did make harder. Um, but other things they, uh, they made actually easier or more convenient, I guess is how you'd put it. Um, it's just really small things, though, that they did. And I'm trying to think off the top of my head what that might be. 
uh, moving an item to a certain area. Like, okay, yeah, like moving the doll ember at the start of the Lost Bastion. Like, that was a more of a convenience than a difficulty, you know. Instead of having to go all the way there and keep and get it, and then, you know, bringing it back there, uh, you could just get it right there at the beginning of the area and then bring it to Scruff McBuff, you know, ASAP. But they made it easier for some reason. But then there's other things that they make harder. Um, we knew you would come. I'm still like, singing. I'm again trying to come up with another example as we talk to this bitch. We are here to sing to. Oh yeah, like perfect example. Iron Keep. Fuck that place. They had way more enemies there. There's so many more alone knights there. And, why should and if there isn't, well, then I'm crazy. But, what is but that's that's definitely a good example. We know nothing of the world, for we will never leave here. When we sing, the little ones... They sing to the little ones, which are the fireflies. To those who bear death, this is what we would... Is there anything wrong? Perhaps this will... Smooth and silky stone. Thanks for nothing. Alright, we're done. We're done here. End the conversation. Got these goons. Go through that shit. Open up this shit. Give me that crimson water. Crimson water is also actually kind of helpful in the sense that it heals you a little bit. So it's a bonus Estus flask. Now I hated this part a lot for various reasons. It's because you can never just get one of these guys to come after you. It'd be either all three. Or more often than not, all three. Um, so, looks like they're all three of them gonna have to come after us now. And they hit like a fucking truck. Son of a bitch. And so we'll get these items. I appreciate you guys not fucking running after me. I see you. You got a big golden cloud floating around you. I see you. Dragon charms. Alright. Perfect. Perfect. Making good progress here, making good progress. We'll probably get to this first bonfire. And maybe wrap it up there. Because again, going any further would just make this episode too long, and that's not what I want to do. Definitely feeling a lot less pressure in this area, I don't know. It used to be a lot harder getting to the very first part. Because of those arch strikes, they would just come at you from such a far distance hate them. I hate them so much. Alright, moving on. It's the worst part of the shrine. This fucking area. Right here. This is where they introduce the mages that cheese spells at you from a distance. Take that bitch over there. Let me try to get to the bonfire. Alright guys, I'm going to wrap this episode up here once we get to the first bonfire. Well, second actually. Get to that frog and then be on to the crypt. So that'll be uh, quite the adventure. Trying to get through here. Like I said, one of, my, one of the places I hate the most. So anyways, leave a like, comment, subscribe to what you got to do to show your support. As always guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, we'll see you in the next one.